Hey, Casey here with CL Creative, where we're teaching you web design and Webflow one video at a time. And I recently got a question from one of my viewers, and they asked, could I set up a, a video light box and tie that to a CMS collection? And then essentially, whenever somebody clicks on one light box, you know, all of the other videos are going to be there for people just to kind of click back and forth through so that they could just watch the videos and say like a playlist or something like that. And yes, we can definitely do that. It's super easy to set up. So let's jump into the computer and I'll show you how. All right, well, here we are in the computer and this is just a page that I have for these YouTube videos. And so let me show you how to set this up. The first thing that we need to do is we need to put a, a new section on the page. And, and what I have, I just have a section saved as you know, a component, and then I throw that on the page, unlink it, and it just makes it super easy for me to go ahead and get this entire setup ready to go. So what we want to do here is we actually want to put in uh, a collection list. And so we're going to drop a collection list in here. I have a number of videos on uh, my blog, so I'm going to go ahead and drop that in. And then inside of this collection list, this collection list item here, what we need to do is we need to drop in a light box. And so that's exactly what we're going to do. And now at this point, we have the option to connect this light box. And so what we're going to do, and, and I have already have this set up, but um, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to connect our media right here. What it is that we are wanting to, you know, actually pull into the the, the light box to the video player. Um, and then it's very important here that we set up a group name. And so I'm just going to call this you know, video for lack of a better term. Now, if you watch my other videos on the light boxes, you would know that the light box link and the image are two separate things. And so we need to go in here and we need to pull in our image. And I have a thumbnail image right here. I'm going to pull in my alt text for that thumbnail image as well. And now you can see, begin to see, we're already getting, you know, these, these videos on, on the screen. And so let's go ahead and go in here and just style some of these right here. And so I'm just going to say video, um, you know, CMS, right? Just for a lack of a, a, a naming here that we're that we're working with. And so we have that as video CMS, and we're going to call this video CMS list. And on this, we're going to apply grid. You can kind of style this however you really want. It doesn't necessarily matter, but I'm going to apply a grid to this, and I'm going to make this a three column grid and I'm going to give three rim in between. Now at this point you're going to notice that what I've actually done is I just pulled this from my blog post collection. Within my blog post collection I have a number of different things and, and some of the things that I have are videos. Now you're going to notice that, that in between here there's nothing there, right? And that's simply because what I'm actually pulling is the video into the light box. And so what we need to do at this point is we need to filter this down. And so we can click on our, our list or really any part of the, the collection here. We can go over here to settings and we're going to click on filter. Now, one of the, the easiest ways to do this um, is simply just to come down here to video link. And we're going to say, is this video link set? If the video link is set, then it's going to show it. If the video link is not set inside of the CMS collection, then it's not going to show it. And there we go. We get a nice view of those videos. So let me just go ahead and pop over here really quick before I show you the last part of this. And this is a video that I just uploaded. And you see right here, I have a video field. And I have indeed uploaded a video into this video field. Here's where I have my main image and my thumbnail image. And this is what I'm pulling from as well as just the other parts of the blog post. Maybe we'll do another another video soon about how to set up a blog post collection. But just so you know that these are the fields that I am pulling from inside of this collection right here. Now here's where, you know, kind of the nice thing comes. All you have to do, somebody comes to the page, they see a whole list of videos they're going to click on one of those videos the pop-up is going to or the light box is going to show up and then you have all of the other videos inside of your collection showing here at the bottom and then you can just click through each of these videos um, you can begin you know to play these right here 
say you didn't like that video or you're done with that video, you could then move to the next video all without exiting out of the light box. All right, so that's how you would use a CMS collection in order to create a collection of videos inside that are that are inside of a light box. And you can create playlists, you can do all kinds of stuff with this, um, whatever your use case might be. But this totally is a possibility and probably a really nice way to get a bunch of videos on a page and in order for people to be able to watch those. So if you got some value out of this video, would you like? If you want more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out videos every single week. Hope to see you on the next one.